Okay, today we're going to go ahead and practice some factoring with, with some of these polynomials. In this particular case, we have a trinomial. So we have y is equal to x to the fourth minus 10x squared plus 9. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this problem. I'm just going to make it look um, something more familiar that we've seen before. So off to the side. Um, just so we could compare it to, we have y is equal to x squared minus 10x plus 9. Okay, so this is something more friendlier to us. So how would we normally factor a trinomial of this kind? So basically, um, using a um, method of factoring trinomials, um, what I do is I teach my students the x method, what multiplies to 9, and adds to negative 10. So I would go ahead and put the 9 on top, the negative 10 at the bottom. Well, in order to add to a negative 10, we need negative 9 and negative 1. These are the factors that works for this trinomial. So moving that same idea over, so what we're going to do, same idea, 1 multiplies to 9 and adds to negative 10. I understand we have x to the fourth here, but that's going to come into play once we break it down. So that gives us y is equal to... We're going to set it up. Okay, so we in this case, we're going to have x and x, and we know it factors to negative 9 and negative 1. But because we have a quartic, that means this is going to be x squared and x squared. So our factors so far is x squared minus 9 and x squared minus 1. Now be careful when you're factoring because when you were factoring, we want to go down to the most simplified. So over here we recognize that we have a difference of squares. And we also have another difference of squares. So bringing back our definition of what a difference of squares is, basically we have a squared minus b squared breaks down to a plus b a minus b. So I'm going to put this off to the side. This is our property of difference of squares. So it's going to go off to the side here as a reference. Okay. All right. So changing, I'm going to go ahead and change my color again. So I'm going to go ahead and get my factors down. So this gives me x plus 3 and x minus 3. So right here, my difference of squares factored into these two. Now, I have another set of difference of squares, and that's going to factor into x plus 1 and x minus 1. Now, looking at this again, um, even though we have a minus here and 1, yes, it's a perfect square, but our x does not have a power of 2. It's strictly just x to the first power, x minus 1. So it does not simplify any further, making um, this our most factored down to the simplified, simplified form. So basically, another quick way to check it is to look at your highest exponent. Our highest exponent is a, so we have a polynomial of a degree 4. So when we factor this and we get our solutions, we should have a total of four solutions. And um, we're not going to get into solutions in this video, but that would be the next following step. So we have our one, two, three, four factors of our quartic polynomial. 